Yo. What up? What's up? How you been? What up? What up? <laughs> I know. I'm trying to make sure I'm all good too. I know. Your brows, bro. Your brows are on point. I see. I think they're bad right now. I oh, think they're. Oh, yeah. I think... <laughs> yeah. I got the stash today. Oh, you got the stash. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, I need. Man. I need a new lineup. I, I I was trying to line up for the interview. Oh, make sure. Good. Look. Good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. But um, no, Trav, how you been, bro? Like, good man. You know how great. is how has I guess we're what a year and a little in. So yeah, I guess I'll say how is this week treating you? <laughs> great man. man good. I'm, I'm a positive dude, man. So it's great. I've been uh. I've been doing a ton of writing, you know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to release, like, solo music. Okay, first. dope. So, yeah, man. So I've just been doing a bunch of writing. I actually, it's crazy. Uh, I had a, I met, I talked to the guy that wrote Liquid Dreams yesterday. What? Yeah, I'm gonna, I got a session with him, like, next week with the guy that wrote Liquid Dreams. So, like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so funny. Yeah, that's classic. But, yeah. no, no, I want to talk, I guess, we're going to start from the beginning and then... The present day now. I want to talk about a little bit of everything. Oh, um, make sure yeah. we talk about. Make sure we talk about this guy. Yes, definitely. Um, but we're you know first I want to break down you know growing up in California, uh, San Bernardino. You know how how was it for you? What was growing up like for you? In the Empire, man. Not on my <laughs> Rancho Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho, yeah. <laughs> you know there. Uh, you know I was the only I was the only mixed kid I knew. Yeah. Like there wasn't. It wasn't, just, it wasn't just black and white kids rocking around like nowadays. Everyone's mixed. You know? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? um, so in Ranch Cucamonga, it was like, you know, I was, I was that dude. It was like, oh, you're, you're both? You're black and white? What? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. You know? And um, I remember I transferred in eighth grade to go to a, a different school. Like me and my, a bunch of my friends, they gave us the opportunity that we could transfer. And, uh, so we got there, and there was this dude, Brandon Simmons. And he was he was half black, half white. He was lighter than me. He was lighter than me though. And he had like curly straight hair. He had light eyes. I was like, fuck this dude. <laughs> like this is some bullshit. I'm supposed to be the only one. Right, yeah. I'm like, but he was the he was the homie. That was my guy right there. Uh shout out to Brandon Simmons. Um yeah, that was funny. That was like um but no, nah, I mean it was good, man. It's the best place best place to raise a family. It was like mm -hmm. you know, ton all races. I mean Yeah. I had Filipino friends, you know, I was with, I rode with them some, you know, black friends, white friends, like Mexicans, like I hung with the Mexicans, like, <laughs> I had some Mexican friends, like we used to chill, man, <laughs> that shit was dope. I love, I love Inland Empire, man, it's a great place, great place, you know, and, and, and I knew not, I knew where not to go. Yeah. You know, like you gotta know. Exactly, where, you gotta know. To go. like, I knew not to go certain parts of, you know, a certain city at you know, times, you know. Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. You know, it's so funny you say that, though, Rancho Cucamonga. I never knew that was a real place until I heard it in Next Friday. Yeah, Next Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, yo, this is a real place. I thought, like, it was yeah. made for the script of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just made it up. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I was like, oh, Rancho Cucamonga. That sounds, like, not real. And I looked it up. I'm like, yo, this is – and then I moved to L.A., and everyone's like, yeah, Rancho Cucamonga. So people were telling me, like, yeah, I'm from there or – yeah, Went to school yeah. there. I was like, You're like, oh, for real? Yeah, I was like, oh, that's that's real. That's a real place. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> that's crazy. But um, you know, too, what age did you know that you had a talent? Like that you kind of you had something. I knew, I knew at a very young age that I really enjoyed performing. And, yeah. And, and and I just I'll just say it, and being watched. Okay. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that when I was very young. I knew that I liked that because I was. I, I love weddings so much. Okay. Because when, I, because when I was a little kid, I could dance, you know, and I was like, yeah. you know, just a kid at the wedding. Kid, right? Yeah. And uh -huh. Everyone was like, ooh, ooh. Everyone was like, look at Trevor, look, you know, and I'm like, oh my uh -huh. god, they're, look, they're watching me, and I loved it, you know. It's like I. I was just like, oh, if I keep doing this, like everyone's just gonna keep watching me. Oh my god, like. I, you know, I just, then I just started listening to music after music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just, then music just became everything, you know, and besides my sports, I did sports and music, you know, that was it. Yeah. I still, it's, you know, was on a roll. And, it's still doing it. Yeah, you got it. 
But like, how? What was it like just auditioning for making the band? Because like, that was the first. That was like I remember watching that like back in the day, and just like, what were your like thoughts even going into just the audition part? Because you didn't like, no one knew I felt it that time. It was completely like blind. I feel no one knew yeah. what was going to go on. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was crazy, man. I mean, they went around the country. <laughs> You know, and I didn't, um, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't sing at the time, per se. Like, I didn't know I was ever going to be a singer. Yeah. I was a performer. I knew that I could dance, and I, I loved music. I could sing every song. Mm -hmm. You know, I could hear pitch, but I wasn't, I wasn't a singer. Like, I wasn't, yeah. high school wasn't like, yo, that dude sings. <laughs> In high school, you know who the singers are. Yeah, you know who the you singers know. are. Yep. That guy sings. That guy sings. That guy raps. That guy just, you know. Um, so... You know, but I could I could hear and I could sing like you know I knew yeah. melodies I knew melodies because I knew so much music. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, when I you know when I auditioned, I was super raw, you know, super raw. But I fucking you know they saw <laughs> not, they saw they saw whatever you know whatever they knew whatever, and then you know I got better. Now I am a singer, you know. Right? So exactly. Yeah. What what was it like though? Like was it really twenty four seven filming? Because I always wonder. It really was. Yeah, man, that was when reality TV was still real. Now, granted, it was it was our reality, you know, our reality. Yes. Like that. But they were there every second. Like they'd be right here, right now. Like these lights, too, big old light. Like you, they become part of your world, though. Exactly. Yeah. They become part of every single room you go in, so you forget about them because they're just there. They're part of. They just become. Yeah, you know, part of you. you know, yeah, it's like the first two or three days, you you like realize they're there, but then they're just that's what your you know that's what every everywhere you go, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So you're, so you're not conscious of it, basically, is what I'm saying. It just becomes yeah. becomes natural, you know. And uh, it's and it's funny though what you were saying though how you were saying like you didn't know necessarily you were a singer, but going into it where you're like when you're seeing you kept on going further and further, you're like, yo, I'm. Well, you know, I'm. You gotta, I'm doing well, this. I gotta do the work hard. You know, right. I yeah. Know, I knew I was working hard, so um, you know, and then you just keep doing that. And when you're yeah. a professional, you get you know, you, know, you, exactly. you get better and better. I mean, I had, the, one, I had the best vocal coaches in the world. Yeah. And True. four yeah. and four other dope ass singers. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like, the, yeah. You, know, you couldn't get all, any better. They were all the shit. So like, <laughs> you know, they could, they could, you know, they could pick me up a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's so funny you say about Liquid Dreams, like how you always talk about how y'all didn't know what it was about and now looking back at it and like you're saying you're writing with the right. writer from it like like what what was it like just having that first single out because that's when you know you had the trl days you had the good old that was the the mecca to be a superstar especially like a teen heartthrob that was the time to be like what did you ever take time to like really like take it in or was it just so fast paced for you? I mean, it was super fast paced. It was, you know, that time was audition and the band to two albums and it was like four years of just complete, you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you always like you take a second, you're like, oh my God, you, <laughs> you know, you remember the first time we went to Germany. I remember when we got our platinum record, you know, you know, I remember so many of the things, so many yeah. of the, the little things, you know, and like from that time. Um, so, but, and that's what's a lot different this time, because it's it's uh you know we space everything out. We do everything. Exa yeah. We decided to get back together. You know what I mean? Exactly. We I love to that. Get back together, and now we get to do everything. And the fans are the you know they keep asking for it. So it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and we we were saying this, you know, we have these Zoom calls with uh, our fans. We've been doing mm -hmm. it like, since like February for our virtual shows, like VIPs. yeah. And so. And Eric was saying, you know, it's like we owe the fans just as much because, like, our friendship, the, mm -hmm. four, of us, the four of us, since we got back together, like, our friendship is, you know, it's incredible. Yeah. What it's done for us. And if the fans didn't want us to be together, then I wouldn't have those friendships because we would have never really, like, gotten back together and started doing, you know. And we, mm -hmm. we were talking to each other, like, you know, whatever, birthdays, whatever. But this really brought us back together and has created, like, such a, you know, a you know, a better, a better friendship than we ever had. So it's like, so thank you to the townies for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, no, I want to ask you too, like, when you opened up, I remember being at this tour, the uh, Dream Within a Dream tour. Yeah, Brittany. 2000, yeah, like what? Because I remember them tickets are so hard to get. 
I remember like that show, I remember it was like filmed for Vegas and yeah. there was so much. I remember that it was one of the biggest tours I feel of like the early 2000s. What? It was. What was it was. It like, yeah, it was like. Doug, when, when they, I mean, when they asked us to be on it, we're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like, okay. For real? All right. And, and then it became like, you know, Brittany and Old Town. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah. And we had like the little stage. We, we used to go, <laughs> the best thing about this tour was so she had her huge stage. Yep. Then she had the catwalk. The catwalk and the B stage. And the, little, the little B stage, right? We got to perform on the B stage, right in the middle, mm -hmm. set it off. And the way that we got out there every single night was we had to go under the catwalk. Yep. We're on these we're on these little carts <laughs> under the under the ground every single night and they're pull they have to pull us through. And that was like we'd always like who are you who are you riding with tonight? Because they, they could do two with the thing. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, oh man. And it's crazy. Like that that ride out to the middle and then walking up the steps and coming out. Oh uh -huh. man, just the whole arena's packed. It's like yeah. those brick I mean, jeez. They were they I mean, you know. A lot of times they don't, don't, don't you know, the opener, it's like a little spotty. Yeah. And they, they were there, and it was like, shit. Yeah. I'll never forget. That was one of my first concerts, and I was like, yeah, this is crazy. Like, just. So where, are you, where are you from? I'm Chicago. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so. What about I always go to, yeah, Chicago. Never, no, especially, never go wrong with Chicago. Right especially right now. The sun's coming out. It's nice out. Oh, it's, it's, it's like 80, Chicago 83 today. My favorite. 83 today it's supposed to be like 89 tomorrow yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's it's on and popping shy town summer for sure yeah, but okay. you know other thing i get so jealous of you i just watched it again recently and i was like to have a ticket there for the michael jackson 30th anniversary oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, like what just being in the audience alone like what what did it feel I, that was one of my dreams to see him live like I know. And not only, not only, not only did I get to, you know, that's the last time he performed with his brothers. Yeah, that was. So not only did I get to like say that I saw that, but it was also documented. Th yeah, that's... you know, it's documented, and I could see, it. I could, I could go back and go, God, I remember that. It's like right there. Yeah, I love that. I love that they uh, they show me on that. It's so funny. Every yeah. time on, somebody somebody hits me on this, and they're like, Yo, you're on the back of the like, <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best shows at like oh it was so good it was so good so oh my god but um you know i know you know so the second album how how did you feel going into it like you know everyone thinks the you know they get nervous about the album but i know you said more freedom too on the second album compared to the first one because you know it's your second album you kind of get to right. call a couple shots how was it though just making it and getting it out there for the fans that second album was like we felt like our baby. We wanted to write like so many, many songs on it, you know. Yeah. Um, and you know, we were all writing, but we were going up against all the best writers. Except, yep. But Clive's like, yeah, you guys can write everything you want, like, but I'm not gonna, you know, the songs got to be good. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna take it over a song I'm gonna go get from you know Desmond Child or yeah this person or that person. You know, it's like so, so. That's why, like, we fought so hard, and like the songs we got on. You know, we wrote like half of that album, I think. Yeah. So you were like six tracks on. Yeah, out of yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. it just um, you know, just that's you know, these are the days came out, which was great. Um, you know, we were on TRL and stuff, and then you know, just whatever. What? <laughs> <laughs> I showed her, never got like you know. Yeah, that song was a jam. It, yeah, I never got the recognition. I feel yeah, like it's never just... like never landed or hit. You know, I mean, it did some places. Not wasn't like a you know. But mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we put a lot of blood, sweat, you know, every tears in that in that album. And yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, how how was it though going like international? And like you said, going to places you've never been before. Like, oh, that's what was the, that experience like? That's the, I mean, that's the next best part of the job. I mean, you know, yeah. It's like, Singing and dancing, the performing, which is like what I need more than anything in the world. Exactly. <laughs> watching, watching. Um, and then the traveling. Yeah. You know, the traveling is, that's the, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> that's the best part. I mean, I've gotten to go, I mean, I've seen the world. I've seen the yeah. world. It's crazy. I've seen the world. I can't even, like to say that seems, it seems almost normal. 
Yeah, it, no, it definitely does. Like, you know? uh, so, yeah, especially yeah. right now too, because right. like we can't go everywhere, so right. it's like, yeah, yeah, right. yeah it's so crazy. Yeah, but um, that. you know, how was it? You know, when the the band just I guess broke up for a second, you know, and you took a break, and you kind of was it refreshing at the same way, just to kind of be a person, because like you were, like you were saying, you were so busy with the group and like you were recorded 24 seven you around tours doing you know award shows yeah. talk shows you know late night shows was it kind of almost like refreshing in a way how was it for you personally yeah the break yeah i mean it it had it, it was like a you know in the beginning it's like oh god thank god yeah <laughs> Whew. you know like it's okay cool i, I need some, you know time then you know and it just goes in waves. And it's like, okay, are we going to do this again? Or what are we mm -hmm. doing? Like, what? Hmm, I don't know. All right. Uh, so, okay. So now my name, my name, my name is Trevor from O-Town. That's my new name. Um, yeah. You know, so, okay. Um, right. Wait, hey, guys, are we? No? Okay. No. Um, all right. Okay. So, wait, what? If, okay. Um, all right. Let's go to act, acting class. Let's go back to acting class. I major yeah. in theater. Yeah, let's go. Let's move to LA. All right, great. Move to LA. Mm, Got to get a job. I get to move to LA. Yeah. You know, and then just, you know, you live life, and then all of a sudden, you know, we get a call. You know, it's like, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, how are we going to do it without? Exactly. Yeah. You know, you can. We know you can. We had someone that was had faith in us. It's just like, I got a label that will sign you guys without him. I'm like, okay. So we were just going to do like one summer tour. Like we we're going to do it overseas because our people were from overseas. Mm -hmm. And and then, uh, yeah, we recorded Skydive. Yeah. We recorded Skydive and we're like, well, this is kind of good. Like maybe we should, you know. That song's amazing. Probably yeah. one, of the, uh, yeah. one of my favorite songs of all time. Like, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 We, we love that song. And, um, you know, and then the fans, you know. And then we just did the album, and then the fans loved us. And then, you know, they. I know, you've been non stop ever our, since funded I feel. Our Kickstarter, funded our Kickstarter, you know. And then, I mean, we wrote the whole album. Yeah. You know, that's what, that's what, that's the thing, you know. It's like since we've been, since we've been back together, well, first of all, we've been together longer. Yeah. So you know, we have two, two albums. We have however many shows, you know. Um, but like, we wrote like 80% of the songs because of, of Lines and Circle, we wrote mm -hmm. you know, half of that, you know? So it's like, those dudes, those dudes <laughs> are the shit. <laughs> yeah, how, how was it though? Like, I tell everyone, I'm like, dude, I'm in a group with like three dope ass oh. people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, those are, they're, each of them are like dope by themselves. Yeah. You know, so it's like, and then when we put everything together, like it's just so, I just love it so much, man. I'm like, dude, our fucking, our music. <laughs> Yeah, I live, like our new sh like our stuff that we have now. Like I listen to it, you know. Yeah, like, like Line Circles like, yeah, like, on the Old Town like, album. Listen, like listen to this production. Like listen. yeah, amazing. Yeah, but like, what was that phone call like? Like who initiated it when you were coming back? Like, because it's crazy that you know Lines and Circles has been out now for seven years. I feel like yeah. it was like yesterday when it first came. Like when he's rejoined and everything was back on and popping. Yeah, it's been um, lines of circles. I mean, yeah, lines of circles, right? So, yeah, yeah. Like who who initiated? Like whose thought? I guess was it? Would you say? So so Jacob, Jacob sent uh -huh. like, Jacob sent out like a tweet. Like, okay. Twitter, Twitter was kind of whatever. It was like 2013, and he was like, "O Town reunion?" Question mark. You know, and like people got a hold of it. Then like. <laughs> It was on like Perez Hill wrote about mm -hmm. it. Somebody else wrote about it. Like we we're like, okay, like all right, well, you know, we, just kind of, <laughs> we had a bunch of songs that we were gonna do that we didn't do. Like that was another thing. It's like, oh okay, yeah, we had like we had a we had like a Bruno Mars song that we were trying to do, but like didn't work out because of some some other things. And then we had this other song, this other writer that was dope that we recorded. Um, another one, like we just we weren't finding the song, and then we found Scala. Yeah. You know, that's kind of, you know, that was, um, so yeah. So yeah, Jacob kind of hit us up and he was like, oh, I got this guy that hit me up from the UK. He wants to like sign to see if he can, you know, we're like, okay, do we know like 
what, we're going to be five, we're going to be four. And like, you know, so we reach it out to Ashley. He said no, mm -hmm. so respectfully. Cool, okay, so it's going to be the four. We'll miss people. They still want to be involved, yeah. There we yeah. are. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask you, like, how was that first, because, you know, you dropped the album, and then you just went hardcore touring. Yeah and got to reconnect with the fan. What, yeah. what what was it like though, like those first like round of shows because everyone was coming back out to see Old Town and all your loyal fans were literally- I know, it was so great. Uh, yeah. It was that, it was like, it was almost like the feeling of like we're about to have right now. Yeah. You know, when we get back on the stage in July, it's like that excitement that like, even though that was 10 years and the excitement, it built up, it built up. This like, mm -hmm. this year has felt like <laughs> 10 years, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember that first show in London, you know, and it was, it was kind of nerve wracking. I mean, we put in a lot of rehearsal. We, we did a lot of rehearsing um, down in San Diego. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was, it was good, man. It's just, it's just been such a pleasure this, this whole time. Yeah. You know? It's just been a pleasure. It's like the designing, you know, Dan mm -hmm. does all the design work and him and Eric are always collabing and like, you know, the merchandise and like our ideas for like VIPs and like our stage show, the, you know, the, the order of the songs and, and you know, the, the way the show's gonna move, the way the show's gonna look, you know, like we do all of that stuff. And it's like, that's, so yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so yeah. we do it all because we can, you know, we're like, we're, you know. Uh, yeah, I wanna ask like what, what has been one of the favorite fan moments from this time around? Because like you said, you have the dopest like VIP packages. You're literally yeah. hanging with your fans. You're not just a quick photo and Yeah, bah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we try to offer, uh, you know, other stuff to like, you know, meet us, have, have, mm -hmm. have time. What's been really cool, obviously, those Zoom calls, man. Those Zoom calls yeah. have been really dope. Because even though in our VIPs we'll have like four or six limited, like you still don't get like one on four time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like there's still like other people there, uh, but these Zoom calls have been like just the one fan and then the four of us. It's been like really cool. A lot of the girls are like, you know, we we see a lot or no. It's like we're finding out extra other stuff about them. You know, it's been, yeah, it's been really cool. It's like, you know, they're they're just they're so sweet. It's like, yeah, it's, it's just cool, man. And like we love. I mean, I love competition, so I'm trying to like find where can we like go do like a bowling VIP. Where can we, like, you know, whatever. What, we did laser tag. That shit was cracking. <laughs> My G1, of course. My, My G1. Team Trevor. <laughs> um, but no, we did, like, top golf. Uh-huh. It's just, like, that stuff's fun. Like, yeah, and it's stuff, like, you don't get often with artists, I feel, which it should be, you know, because some artists are so, like, untouchable or... Yeah. You know, like, it's awesome that you all meet the fans. And, like, people, like, your fans travel, like... I remember seeing you first time. I think I'd seen you all right when he dropped Lines and Circles. I interviewed you all. And then, like, the My, uh, the my 2K tour, I seen you that all the so fan. Cool. That tour was, oh, my God. That, crazy that cool. That was just so fun. It felt like the old days, like, being on tour. Which we don't do anymore. Yeah, exactly. We don't, but we don't do, like, the 30 cities in a row anymore. We do, like, mm -hmm. you know, three weekend, a weekend, a weekend. We do, like, Weekend Warriors. Uh, but that was... That was so fun to be back out on the bus with like with Ryan Cabrera. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I, I knew who Ryan was and met him, but I never really hung with him. And then to spend a 30 days on, you know, 45 <laughs> days on a bus with him was sweet. Now it's like my lifelong boy right there. Um, so, you know, yeah, that my 2K was dope. And that, that, that's the other thing, like with the fans. Like, we, got a lot of, we got a lot of our fans now like from that show. I had never seen us before, you know. Um, that was cool. Was yeah and and a lot of our fans are like lifelong friends now with people they met mm -hmm. at the old town show which is so cool yeah yeah you, know, you know it's like man like us being together for them that causes them to get to gives them you know where their reason that you know it's just really cool was it was it everything on the road. i can't wait <laughs> to be on the road again Jeez. right was it everything like when you, like you were saying like back on the tour bus was it did it feel like just like old times <laughs> did it did. exactly? I mean, I, we had like the same bunk. I'm like, yo, I'm getting my same bunk. Like, this was my old bunk. Like, it was, yeah. I mean, the bus, it wasn't the same bu like bus we had. We got like a smaller bus. Yeah. Because um, we we're smarter, <laughs> more efficient. And, yeah. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, the whole like getting on the bus and sleeping and like through the night 
getting to the venue in the morning, you know, like it was awesome. It was dope. That tour was so so cool. Such a good tour. Thank you, ninety eight degrees, for having us. <laughs> yeah, that was super. Like I was so excited when that was announced because it just doesn't. I don't know. It's not done enough. You know, it, it's hard to get a lot of groups together. I feel or artists. It's just a different time than, you know, what it was back in you know, late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, for sure. It's just a different ball game. But um, you know, having complete control, like you were saying, you all get to, you know, make the cover art for you know graphic design. You know, Dan will do that, and you all could choose the you know who you want to write with or who you want to produce with or. How, like, what's been your favorite part about being in total control of your career and your band? Oh, man. <laughs> I think, I mean, it's got to be all of that. The fact that, we, the, the fact that we get to do that yeah. as a whole is, is the, there isn't one specific part that's, like, better than, it's, like, being able to have one quarter of a voice, you know what I mean, on, yeah. every, on every decision is, like, you know, that's... You know, um, well, let's see. I mean, I love hearing the new song. Recording the new songs is always fun. Uh, putting up performance, probably, probably the performance. Yeah. Putting okay. together the show. Yeah. Yeah, you put on some dope shows. Put together like, the show. Thank you, thank you. You thank all you. kill it every time. Like, every time I've seen you all, I'm just like, dang, you, you haven't missed a beat. You, like from when I seen you back in 2001 till you know present day it's like yo they're still here and killing I love it yeah appreciate that appreciate yeah that. Well, I uh, that was always one of the major things I used to say 20 years ago you know because everyone people just random you know general people just hate on you yeah because you know, you're in a boy band although you probably whack <laughs> I used to always just say man, just come see us live just come see us live you, mm -hmm. you don't have to like the songs you don't have to like the song. You don't. Yeah. Have to, but just watch and just watch. Just appreciate and see, us. And see yeah, what you see. That's all. That's all. Don't hate. Yeah. Me. Just, just give us, give us your unbiased opinion. Come watch. That's it. Yeah. You know. It's all. Yeah. That's what we always say. <laughs> it's so true. But like, how was it? You know, after, you know, you when you were making the Old Town album, how, how was that then? Like. That's the second album of the comeback. You know, how was that? Like, were you just writing a lot on the road, or was it more you made time for writing? Yeah, or just kind of made time. Okay. You know, or sporadic, or whatever. Like, one of the songs Eric wrote, like, off. He wrote, mm -hmm. Eric wrote off, like, a couple of years ago. And you know, I just came it was like, oh, we just couldn't do it back then, and then we could have. It's like, oh, I'm, this song's available. We're like, yes. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, so just like once it's like, hey guys, we're gonna write the whole album. Like, we gotta start writing. You know, and then it's like everyone's like, okay, okay, submit, submit. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the and other thing I great, and we have a great producer, so like, okay, we can yeah. take our, our, our ideas to him, and he's really good at getting our, you know, kind of what we like. Your vision. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I want to tell you, like, to Mark Suhoney, Mark Suhoney. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to ask you, like, one thing I appreciate you both, all of you, as, as well. And I feel like a lot of independent artists always think of it as like, oh, I can't do this. And I'm like, no, like I always bring up you all for an example. I'm like, they do all their own artwork. They create their own songs, they do their own shows. They are on, you were on the Late Late Show with James Corden. You were on Strahan and Sarah. Like, you were on the shows the same as anyone, you know, because everyone's like, oh, you have to have a label. I'm like, no, you don't. Like today, you, you don't need a label. Like. It's all about independent and distribution, you know, partnering with someone and just, sure, you know. Labels are slowly but surely becoming obsolete. Obviously, they still have the most money. Yeah. Um, they're still going to, you know, the radio's still going to always have the, you know, same 11 songs, you know, whatever the songs are. Um, you know, but yeah, I mean, you can become an artist without a label very easily. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You and and off, be a part of everything. Pastors release all your stuff. That's why I mean, there's so many there's so much music now, which is amazing. I love it. Yeah. So great, you know. Yeah. But looking looking back at, you know, like I was telling you, like back in those early 2000s, you know, that's when you were all brought to every award show. Every, I'm sure you've been to some parties that I wish a camera was in there to record and see what was <laughs> yeah, going on. Yeah, cameras were, so everyone stayed away from the play. <laughs> like, oh, the old guys after it. <laughs> so different. You walk in somewhere with a camera now, they're like, yo, 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 who yo, yo. I want to be on yeah. this show. Yo, what do you think, though, would have been like with social media? 
what do you think like for how do you feel it's about hard like, to say. i think it would be exactly how it is now just the cast of characters would be different that's all okay you know so, the influencers and everyone it would still be i mean the the only thing is that there would be more so our generation would have had there would have been more talent that yeah. was discovered that's all because there was no way for us to get discovered unless, like you said, it was a label or somebody bigger doing the thing. We didn't have this engine or this tool that they have. Mm -hmm. They have this phone and they can say, oh, look, look at me, I'm talented. Whereas you, we didn't have that. So yeah. what would have been different? There would have been more. There would have been, you know, it would have been more saturated. There would have, yeah. been, more. There would have been more of everything like there is now. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing that would have changed. But as far as like using it and being like, oh, God, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can only imagine. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was making, when I was in junior high, high school, I was making movies, you know, in my backyard with a video, you know what I mean? Yeah. Making movies, right? Uh, so if I had it, uh, I would have been one, I would feel like I would have been an influencer or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's just what, I, what my personality is, so that's probably what I would have did. Yeah. But what did it feel like, like you were saying about movies? How did it feel getting into acting when you took that break? And now, I know you currently still doing acting. Like, how was it for yeah. you just to let that out as another avenue of your artistry? That's incredible, because that is also something I've always, you know, wanted. Since I was a little kid, I won an Academy Award. You know, like, I'm, you know, in high school, I was lead in the plays, you know. Yeah. Was, you know, um, so that's always been a dream of mine and something I know that I can always do. Um, so I will definitely be pursuing that and doing. You will, you'll definitely see me in more movies for sure. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But you know, with, with quarantine, I know you all had a lot of plan that you had to put on halt, unfortunately. You know, it, I can't wait to go to my first live show because it's just going to be. Uh, I know, I know. You see like, us in Chicago? You saw us in uh, Naperville? Yeah, I've seen you in, where was it? In Rosemont in Chicago. Oh, Rosemont, yeah. Joe Rosemont, Biden. and then I think oh. it was Joliet. Joel when Jackson. I first seen you for Lines and Circles, when you were promoting yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, how has it been with the virtual concerts? Because I know you've done the 20th mm -hmm. anniversary one recently, you did the St. Paddy's one, the Valentine's Day. Like, yeah. how so, was it performing with no audience? Did, how was it? did those three. I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly how. Uh -huh. because <laughs> it was good to be on the stage and perform and be with the guys and know that the fans were going to get to watch it. Yeah. But, like I told you, what did I love since I was a little kid? performing that you like people watching being watching being yeah watched. so we didn't have that yeah you know what i mean so it's like doing it without having anyone actually there you know watching so that was a little it was like a little awkward you know it's just like yeah. it, didn't, it wasn't the full satisfaction that's all it was satisfying it was gratifying to be there with the guys and do everything but it was different because i didn't i didn't even get like the best part of the drug <laughs> yeah yeah, you killed it though. Like I seen a couple, I was like, yeah, oh, it, was awesome. it was awesome. Like so, it's, it's so are, crazy you're always, how you're always able to kind of uh, adjust. You can adjust. Yeah, you just like yeah. Uh. And, and it's weird. Like I never thought seeing some of these, like you like you were saying, with no audience, how some of these performances. Yes, I know you need the audience sometimes, but like it's been interesting to see some performances without an audience, how they're as good as with an audience. Like not saying I don't get me wrong. I can't wait for live shows with an audience, but they've been, they kind of, um, I guess I had a, like an opinion already, like, Oh, they're gonna be horrible. And right. I seen a couple, I was like, yo, these aren't. Yeah. yeah. They're like yeah. a bandaid. They're like a bandaid for the problem. Yeah. 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 Like, it's good to, because it's good to watch your favorite artists like perform. Yeah, I mean, like at the, end, at the end of the day, you still love to watch that. It just would be that much better to see it in person. Yeah. yeah, but how was it right before um, quarantine? I know you you were touring like oh, the man, Pop was, 2000 tour. You were yeah. Pop 2000 tour. We're about to start going out with Mark McGrath. Now we're going out with him. Um, you know, we had the 20th anniversary planned in April yeah. in LA. We had we had a huge. It was going to be our biggest year yet. Yeah, that and that LA thing was huge. Like the packages you had for fans and yeah, yeah. it's gonna be our biggest year yet. And you know, whatever. Yeah, just whatever. You got to pivot. Everyone had to go through it. You know, we're coming. We're coming out of it hopefully, and, and you know, see everybody out on the road. That's what I'm saying. Though. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask you like how do, how does it feel? Twentieth anniversary. Like, I know. I I feel like it. Like I was saying, I feel like Liquid Dreams came out. You know, a year ago, I, you know, I still remember seeing I, that video I, on TRL. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, when I when I look at younger photos, I'm like, wow, that that looks 20 years later. <laughs> like, I do not look like that anymore. <laughs> you know, that's so so far from like the 20 year old. Um, yeah. Not that in a bad way. I'm just I just don't look like that. Yeah. So, but like you know, it just I don't know. To me now, it's more like the the oh my god, we've been we've been back together for seven years already. Yeah. Like, oh god, going on eight. You know, that's like <laughs> that's like almost the more mind boggling. But I mean, yeah, it's like twenty years. Ugh, I you know my nieces and nephews are like twenty one now. Yeah, it's scary. It's like, like I want to get a fake ID. Right. Right. saying I'm younger than what I'm be born in yeah, like 97 yeah. <laughs> or like 2000. So <laughs> you could be 21 right now rather than yeah, my get real a, age. Get a fake idea that says I'm 22. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. I'm like, can I get in trouble for that? I'm like, I'm yeah. still legal. Like, it's not yeah. like you're doing anything illegal. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, how, how has, like you were saying, I know you're really positive, but had, did you do anything during quarantine just to kind of keep, you know, because mental health was a huge thing. Yeah. for everyone in this yeah, quarantine yeah. because we didn't know we thought it was gonna be two months and we'd all be good and then it turned into six months and it turned into a year and now it's over a year like what did you do to keep yourself just kind of focused you mean sane yeah, yeah. sane and focused yeah you know, i tried to do i tried to do a lot of writing like i said writing or picking up something new i started tap dancing again you know um, and you know i think Spending time, family, yeah, you know, um, when you could, you know, a lot of people could couldn't do that either, you know. Mm -hmm. so that was always like a slippery slope, you know. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I just tried to use the time wisely. Yeah, use the time wisely. Don't get don't. I, I don't like getting bought. I don't like thinking about stuff like that. So uh, I like to always stay on a positive wavelength. Uh, I'm wrong with that. You know, uh, so. more people need that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but no, I I, uh, I started Patreon. You know, I started like doing workouts and stuff uh, mm -hmm. from there. And like I said, I'm recording an album, so they're they're hearing the album as I'm writing it and hearing That's the songs, awesome. and old songs that I I've had for. I mean, I was writing songs like when O Town first broke up, so I have like yeah. these old songs on CDs that like no one's ever heard. And so, is that um, when you first got when you went solo when you made what was it Mac One? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah some so, of those, yeah, some of those songs, yeah. So oh. they're like kind of the, some of those, and then up, some new ones that I'm doing now. So it's it's been awesome, man. It's been. So how how did it feel though? Like hearing back those songs you made, like you were saying, those are back what the like 2004, 2005, like, six, yeah, 2004, five, six. Yeah. 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 It's like, just the product. The production sounds like. You know, and like everything's changed. Everything, computers, more computers than it even was then. Mm -hmm. uh, so it just, it sounds dated, you know, like, yeah, you know, like, you know, excuse, you know, how dated it sounds, but <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get the idea. Like, here's a song I wrote with Dan. You know, we had Dan did a couple of songs with like, he, he did the beats and I did, like, you know, um, so that, that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Are you going to do, would you say like, because, you know, EP is kind of like the new LP, which is. Right. kind of crazy because i'm always so used to a full album you know right. that's just right. how i was brought up and what i know of music um yeah. for your project do you and what do you envision ep or lp i'm not sure yet okay i could i could be talked into either one i think um you know i would love to have them on lp and have it yeah flow and be able to like think of the story I want to tell and put the songs in like this order and like yeah. have interludes and yes know, interludes you know, yes. Things, you know people don't know them I guess yeah. some people they don't know what inter I'm like you don't know what an interlude is right. like no they don't they don't they don't they just they know need it now. next song next song next song yeah what next song what do you what do you why are you talking to me why are you talking to me yep. what, is <laughs> what is the next song yeah, people, I listen, let them listen to an interlude. They're like, why is this song only 50 seconds? I'm like, it's not a song. It's an interlude. <laughs> like, are you, are you, like. What? Why is the song only 50 seconds? Why? Yeah, like yeah, I was like, you don't like that? They're like, no, it should be longer. I'm like, well, it's not supposed to be long. It's the whole point. It's an interlude. What's well, an interlude? I'm like, you just got to know music to know what an interlude is. Like, interludes right. are sometimes better than some of the tracks. Yeah, for sure. Like. I love yeah. a bunch of boys to men interludes. Like, oh. Right. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, I, I hope you do interludes because that just is the nostalgia. <laughs> now I gotta do an interlude. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, like you were saying, I know this year, you know, we're hopefully opening up. I feel like you know, I got vaccinated just so I could travel. To be honest, that's why I hey, got vaccinated. I just got my first shot the other day, and yeah. How you feeling? Man, that shit was sore. Sore, okay. Shit. I was like. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, the second one, I was sick for like five hours. Oh, okay. But it wasn't like deadly sick. It was literally like a fever, body aches, the yeah. chills, the sweats. Then I went to bed and I woke up and I was fine. Yeah. And so, the, the yeah. night before, I slept like 12 hours straight. I got like really tired. But otherwise, I was like, oh, this isn't nothing. <laughs> so, no, time to travel. Yeah, time to travel. I went. I booked one flight already. I, I went to, already to Atlanta. Now I need to travel more because, yeah, yeah. like, that's the reason I got it. I just wanna yeah. I, and I wanna see concerts. Get out there, man. Get out there and see the world. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah already. Right. Like, see the states, see the world, see wherever, man. Yeah, but so, you know, the future so. for you. You know what? Tell me about your future plans as well. I know you said the album. What else do you kind of wanna that you haven't touched yet? Would you say you want to get into still, and then as well with the band? So, band wise, pro I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, eventually, you know, we keep touring, keep touring, and then, uh, you know, probably more music, some way, shape, or form. You know, mm -hmm. there is a, well, you know, I don't, I don't like to say anything that we haven't talked about for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to, like, tease anything because I don't want to accidentally do something. So, um, Stay tuned to, for O Town stuff. Oh, no, okay. we, ain't, we ain't going anywhere. <laughs> we ain't going anywhere. Uh, as for me, uh, yeah, I, I, I just kind of started. I just started writing a film. That's um, awesome. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. Sick. That's cool. Um, and then yeah, the album, and you know, some more acting, for sure, and uh, some more stand-up comedy at some point, for sure. Yes. Yeah. So that's... all of those things will definitely be in my future. Okay, that's awesome. You know what? What is Follow one those thing? Dreams, people. All the... <laughs> Follow your dreams, people. You have to. Yeah, yeah, it's necessary. Please. Yes. Like, what's one thing you've learned from this industry that I guess you would say, like, I wish I knew it in the beginning? Would you say to yourself? Uh, I don't think. I don't tell myself. I'm not, I'm not, as far as the industry is concerned, I don't know. I don't know really. What's it? I guess I got to you. To grow faster. Grow faster. <laughs> grow up faster. Yeah. That That's what I want to ask you. Like, that'd how be was my that? advice. That'd be my advice to myself. So, but how was it like, it, you know, a lot of people, you hear so many, I guess, when a band or an artist is first signed. Like you hear horror stories. Did that ever happen to you, or like you were like, no, we had a, like you know, you experienced what? I mean, you know, Lou tried to get us to sign the contract, like made him one sixth a member, but then like we didn't do it. We had <laughs> yeah. a great lawyer, and then we ended up signing like a general, just regular like whole contract. He just yeah. did, he just didn't follow through with the contract. You know, he, mm -hmm. didn't pay, he didn't pay us, but whatever. I mean, you live and you learn. I just I don't I don't like to harp on those like once again. Yeah, the, good energy. I don't. I don't like like whatever that happened. It happened. So what? No, but like, that's awesome to know. Like you kind of had a good, positive, you know, like yeah, sort of great career. Me. Nothing bad. Nothing. I mean, to say yeah, it's been great. But yeah, we still do what we love, man. It's like it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, the one thing I love that you all do is like so many artists don't want to create new music. So they're like, no. The hits are the hits, and those will just always be the hits. We don't want to create new music. But I love that you all create dope new music. Like, and it's with the times, but it still has those. Right. It's still, just, it's still very uh, what we are. It's our exactly like it has growing, still growing. You can hear yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like I love that about you all. Like because you really incorporated like the old feel with the new feel and it's relevant with today's, it's just like a good vibe. Like, and you said, like you were saying, like it's good, feel good music. Right. And then you have like those dopes, like skydive is just a, one of them songs. Like it needs to be a part of like a huge soundtrack or something. Cause it's just, I know, right? Yeah. It's just one of them songs. Right. Yeah. yeah. But no, you know, last, you know, what do you want to say to the fans? 
So, oh yeah, tell me about the jersey if you want to say. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta talk about Hollywood Bond. <laughs> My little cousin right here. <laughs> yeah. Love it. If you don't know. Now you know. If you don't know, you're gonna know. <laughs> Get your popcorn ready. Javon Howard, 22. Can't lose on 22s. Anyway, yes. yeah, this is my little cousin. He got drafted by the Dolphins. He's gonna play. That's so I'm awesome. Spend a lot Congrats. Of I'm gonna spend a lot of time traveling to uh, watch the Dolphins. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. That's like a huge, yeah, that's a. I'm excited about that. But yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to say thank you all to all the townies. Well, I'll take like uh, let's take like five minutes, and there were some questions and stuff. Yeah, like typing. Cause I have three yeah. in here too for you. Let me see. Um, someone said favorite dolphin player of all time. <laughs> Javon Holland. Okay. <laughs> um, let's when see. I put, when I put this on, it was so crazy. I felt it's. I felt so proud it's, yeah like that's... it really felt different than putting on just like your favorite quarterback to jersey or your yeah. team. like it's like it's crazy it's crazy anyway okay yeah to be a part of you like your yeah. family right, like right right that, like you said it's always like you know michael jordan okay it's someone you looked up to it's not someone you could literally just call up and be yeah. like yo right. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It's so cool man I'm so let proud. me see i'm trying to see if anyone's asking anything we well, are all gonna go touring like everywhere, like how you all been doing though, right? That people are asking like touring, touring. Yeah, you're gonna be touring everywhere, like how you all were yes, doing yes. already. Yes, so July, like, August, September, we're gonna be Ohio, Texas. Um, you know, New York will be like the Boston area, Connecticut. We're gonna be in Nashville. Um, yeah, we're gonna be check. Keep stay tuned. Keep looking at hotelofficial.com. Yeah, we're gonna, start, we're gonna keep announcing the dates as they come. We gotta wait. A lot of a lot of places are still, you know, yeah. are we gonna be fully open? You know, I'm still kind of still thinking. About Chicago's it. opening. I can't wait. July fourth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. To, we're gonna be in Waukegan. Oh yeah, that's not far. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. be in Waukegan. It's right on the north side. Yeah. Yep, yep. But no, someone's asked, what has been your favorite behind the scenes story from touring? Behind the scenes. Oh my God, there's so much. The best <laughs> part. The best part about being an O-Town tour is like our car rides. <laughs> Just like anyone else, you know, when you're in a car with someone for five hours, like if it's your friends, like shit happens, you guys bust <laughs> up laughing in the car about the double shit. You know? <laughs> uh, that's, I look forward to those cars. Like even when, if I don't sleep, it's like when you're sleeping in the car, you almost don't want to sleep because you don't want to miss anything. Yeah, you know? You know. Um, that's the worst. I would say the car rides are on. Car rides, okay. And someone, I know this is probably a yes, but more merchandise soon? Yeah, we actually just dropped some, uh, about to drop some more sweats. Oh. We got like uh, some new hoodies. Yeah, go to otownofficial.com. Yes, please. Oh, We're about to get oh. these leggings. Dope ass fire leggings. How about the rock? Then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy like how different merch has changed. You know what I'm saying? Like what you could sell and what you would never think would sell 10 years ago. It's like, Right. Sells today, like who would have thought masks would be in the cell? Like, let's see, anyone I'm, else? I'm trying to see. Come to Toronto. We love to come to Toronto. Absolutely. Shout out Sydney from Australia. What's up? What's up, Sid? I'd love to be in Australia. That's one place I haven't gone that I will go. Same. Hopefully, we get to go there. Brazil too. Man, I want to go to Brazil. Jeez. Yeah, I want to ask you, like, where, where did you all touch down? touring like what i guess not saying every country because you don't obviously besides the u.s where did you travel the most would you say oh, back in the day germany for sure. germany okay oh. i heard germany's dope everyone's telling germany me is dope. Germany great is things dope. yeah germany's dope let's it's, see uh, i used to love bre i love breakfast over there like when we stay in a nice hotel uh-huh uh, that in london like they just have the best like just spreads, <laughs> all kind of meats and, and oh, it's the, uh, oh, can't wait. We're going back to the UK. I'm so excited. I know. I can't wait to go back to London. I love. We're going to the UK. We got three shows there, and then the you know the NFL plays games in London. Yeah, they're they're playing there. They're, they're playing there. The Dolphins. The week after we're there, so I'm gonna stay there and then go watch them play. The Dolphins. That's so dope. That's like too good yeah. to be true. Like what perfect yeah. timing. Oh, I know. We're gonna see them in London. I can't wait. 
and be playing in line because it's so <coughs> like because football there is different so it's fun it's cool right. to see when our football is in yeah. europe yeah, for sure. but someone said what made you move to the east coast Maybe move to the East Coast. The universe made me. <laughs> the universe talked to me and I listened. Some call it God, some call it the universe. There's something greater and you have to listen. But, yeah, you do. You just gotta go. So here I am and it's been amazing. Mm hmm Someone said, uh, here, what is on, what is your typical day like when you're not touring? When we're not touring? Uh, you know, gym. Some writing, just depends. Okay. Comedy, yeah. so much other stuff. Yeah, let's see. Yes, oh, oh, we'll give you a big hug in Wisconsin for sure. Someone, this is you'll laugh at this one. Um, can the new merch not be white? I spill things. <laughs> yes, I know. We just, yeah, no, for sure. We, we <laughs> drop these white leggings, and they're like. Just in the chat room, like, no, 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 we don't like white, no more white, done. We're like, okay, sorry, guys. Our bad, our bad, our bad, our bad. That's so funny. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think, I'm seeing if there's anything else. Um, yes, the universe says come back to California. I know, it's not, it hasn't said that yet. Yeah, I, I moved right before, I moved back to Chicago, right before. Corona hit, and I'm kind of happy I did because nothing's really going yeah. on in California. I think California is more shut down than Chicago, so right, it's right. like it yeah. was. They're they're like last for everything, so but it's all good. Everyone's coming back. Yeah. Let me see. Anyone else? Let's see. Plus size version, nice. Yes, Andy Webb, we got that. Nicole, yes, start sick of them. Although I might move to like PA. Oh yeah, people are, this is another one. This is a good question because I know some artists are nervous. Will there be like VIPs and meet and greets with the upcoming shows because of Corona? I kind of yeah, feel Yeah, yeah. Like... We're going to have VIPs. We're going to see, you know, we're talking to the venues and stuff right now. Um, seeing what we can or can't do as far as like how we do the t-shirts at the end. What's that going to look like? Are we going to be able to do the selfie? Or... We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll, it'll be out there though. We'll definitely, VIPs will be announced very soon. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, like, you know, if you want to keep your space, keep it, you know. Yeah, like, exactly. otherwise, yeah, yeah, I'm over it now. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm vaxxed. It, that's how I feel. Like, I'm vaxxed. I'm like, oh, what, what do I have like a 4% chance of being sick? So I'm like, and it's not that bad if you do get sick. So right. I'm like, eh, it is what it is. Yeah, Vegas had to postpone till next year. Sorry, I am killing it 16, but we will definitely be back there in Vegas, you know it, because we love Vegas. I love Sin City. What happens Gosh. there stays there. What happens here stays Sin City. That's what I'm I'm so called Sin City. <laughs> I love Vegas. I can't wait to go back to Vegas. Now that everything, like you were saying, everything's opened up and shows are getting announced out there. And... Oh, yeah, yeah. That Usher show is going crazy, right? Right? Oh, yeah. I can't wait for Usher. Like, because he's never been in Vegas either. That's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. I definitely want to see him. What is that? It's coming up. Yeah, I think it starts in June, right? Yeah, because it's what the Park Theater. I love the Park Theater. So that's gonna be super dope. Let me see. Um, is anyone else? I think all these have been asked. Oh, I hope you guys favorite. No, I got that. Thank you, Italy Bell. Um, I kept saying I was doing a good job. Thank you. Oh, here, here's a good we question. We miss the Philippines. We miss the Philippines. Can't wait to go back to the Philippines. God, that was amazing. The Philippines was incredible. Mm -hmm. Someone asked, you guys should film some behind the scenes when you get back on tour and put it up on the site, Backstage Pass. Yeah, that's a great question, Penny, Dal Penny Dallas. Uh, we will be doing that. We will be doing okay. that. That's a great question. That's dope. Well, um, someone asked, um, oh, that's a good question. What movie that's already been made do you wish you could have been in? I would have loved to be a hitch. That would have not. 100%. I could totally see you. No play. questions asked. That's like my all time favorite script that I would have wanted to be. That exact. That's a quick question. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, here. That's a good one. Will you guys re record the version of Shy Girl you did for the 20th anniversary show? 
Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. We're talking about re-recording some stuff so we can own the masters of, of some of the old songs and stuff. So stay tuned. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. We might uh, – actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah. Thank you. It, it, yeah, it's crazy how everyone's <laughs> re-recording. That, you know, because we're going to, like, release vinyl this year. Yes. Uh, of course. I, I just started my vinyl collection during quarantine. I'm sorry yeah, you said yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. So Vinyls is the new. Stay tuned for that. Who would ever thought? Let me see. I think that's about it. Let's see. Oh, here's. Um, let's see. <laughs> this would be. Would you ever? I uh, guess if you thought about this. Can we get an updated making, the band? I mean, yeah. Why, I don't know why there is not an updated making the band. Seriously. Uh, let's go. I'll find the talent. I'll make the band. I could make an awesome band. Right? Call yeah. Me, tell your people, call my people. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, with that new show that just got announced. I don't know if you've seen it. It's, um, but it's all females. Oh, so uh, it's. First five ever? No, no. It's actually a reality show. So it's. Oh, oh. oh it is? It, it's. Um, oh, they're finding a new band? They're, they're making a super group out of oh, girls okay. from bands. So it's like two girls from 702, Aubrey from Danny D. Kane. Oh, okay. um, like two girls from Cherish, and they're doing like a reality show, and they're like Shamari from Black, um, okay. all right. Pam all right. from Total, and Nivea. They're nice. all gonna be, yeah, so it's gonna be on BET June 9th, so it's gonna okay. be. They're trying to do that with like the man band. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking like, that's kind of a dope idea, whoever thought of that. Let's see, anyone else? Let's see. <laughs> this would be epic. I don't know, this would be a lot of work, I know, but. Can we just do an old town and sing BSB and 90 Degrees Reunion Tour, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know why there's not a boy band festival. I don't know why there's not there a, should be. a Coachella festival with boy bands. I don't know. I can just see you all like it's so Let me put it in the universe again. Coachella boy band festival. Put it in the universe again. Coachella yeah. boy band. That would sell out in a heartbeat. That would be probably one of the biggest things of this generation, if not and beyond generations. It'd be so good. Yeah. Be Let's so see. Good. Someone asked, oh, here's a good one. Good night, I have to go to him. Uh, is there any artists you're most looking forward to seeing when live shows are back? I mean, right now I'm listening to J. Cole's new album and I really want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, J. Cole, I've been listening to that on repeat. So maybe seeing him again. Um, but I also, I also, I kind of want to, I also want to see Lost Kings. Yeah. And they're, they're coming, like, they're coming to Philly, like, close by me, so I want to go see them. And then I've been wanting to see Arizona. Okay. I've always wanted to see them. Don't but, you know, Jay Cole, for sure. Let's see. Um... I think everything else has been asked. All right. Well, yeah. It's been a pleasure, my dude. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll see you all, I'm sure, soon. Yes. Because Waukegan. You, uh, yeah, I'll definitely you. hit you up. Waukegan. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's in October. It's Oct that's what I thought. I've seen it on Ticketmaster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, thank. I appreciate you for always being super yeah. dope every Thanks time. Hey, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so yeah. much. Good night to all the talent, okay. everybody. Thank you for <laughs> staying tuned for an hour. Appreciate right? you guys. <laughs> Peace, everyone. Be safe.